almost exactly one year ago today, uh, here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan, the uh, representative from Open Range was here visiting our facility, and he came over and picked my brain a little bit. He says, hey, you know, you're really good with floor plans. We're doing great with the Open Range Ultralight. We feel like we're really onto something here, but we're missing a rear kitchen. But everything Open Range does, guys, you have to understand, they do everything a little bit left of center. This is a rear kitchen redefined. This is a rethought, reimagined, and I feel improved rear kitchen. Maybe I'm biased because I actually had some creative input on this one, especially on the interior. But I helped them come up with a couple key ideas here that really redefine this thing. Um, and I'm actually going to break protocol, my normal process. I'm going to step inside first. Um, keep in mind, though, the one we're looking at here might not be the one that we have in stock. That's why at Halid RV, we leave you a link in the video description that says check for pricing and availability. Everything that we have is clearly listed on our website with asking prices, and we don't play the hidden charges game at Halid RV, nor are you too far away to work with us, because we only do everything at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. So here is what, in part, I helped Open Range come out with. I didn't build this one from the top down. I didn't lay it out, but I did offer some fun inputs and ideas. So like I said, it's rear kitchen redefined. Right when you walk in, though, you still get all the exciting Open Range things you expect like a really aggressive lighting package. It's all just on one convenient switch right when you walk in the door. So I've always, I, I prefer, personally, I prefer rear kitchens instead of rear living rooms because you get a big window with chairs, but you get more countertop space. You get the things that are fun in a rear living room, but you get more functional space. And that is where I think this version of this floor plan, the 2804RK Open Range Ultralight, um, partially inspired by us here at Halid RV, really kicked into play. So right now in the market, a theater seat directly across from your entertainment center so you do not get a neck crank is very popular, and for good reason. And this is one area I feel that this just is absolutely stomping every other rear kitchen on the market. Every other rear kitchen, you have two chairs here that face inward. You have a dinette and a sofa that face inward, but your entertainment's on the side so you never get a good shot at the screen. Entertainment options have become more important in the RV business than they ever were in history, but no one has updated a rear kitchen until now to reflect that. And that is something that being the large volume dealer we are at Halid RV, we were in tune with and we wanted to bring to our customers. Now, a lot of folks are really into the U-Dinet because it can fold down into a big sleeping space. It's about seven foot long when you fold it down into a sleeper and it gets you some extra storage space. That is something not usually found in a rear kitchen. By kind of combining these couple changes here, these couple updates, we were able to produce uh, a rear kitchen that has just an ungodly load of countertop and cabinet space, as you can see up here. Um, it has the open range, bigger eight cubic foot fridge and freezer, but it gives you the ideal entertainment center. When I sit down, I can kick up my feet in this uh, wall hug and recliner here, this theater seat, and I've got perfect entertainment facilities. And we're bringing fireplaces, AKA electric space heaters, to a floor plan that traditionally has not usually had one, at least not in a functional space. And then when we look over, right when you walk in the door, You've got a nice little, like, almost pseudo desk area. You can set down keys. You can set down what's in your hand. You got power outlets to charge anything and everything that you want and need. We've got all kinds of extra drawer space and cabinet space here. As if a rear kitchen didn't have enough, we added extra countertop and cabinet space to a floor plan that already had more than anything else in its class. Now what's cool, where Open Range took it a level above and beyond, and this is 100% them, they made the TV. Uh, a, a full 90 degree swing out. You have this, uh, I mean, huge, I, I don't even, there, I don't have the cubic measurements on this. You have a massive additional storage compartment back here that is easy to access. I mean, this, this is way bigger than like the oven and the microwave combined. Now, down behind this, on the outside, there's a huge outside storage compartment behind the fireplace. So none of this is wasted and it even adds extra outside storage to a floor plan that wouldn't have it. Now, if we're standing in the kitchen or if we're sitting at the dinette, 
We've got the perfect view of all the entertainment options. There is no bad seat in this house, folks. Nowhere are you ever missing out on anything. I'm going to step back outside and run back through my normal routine, but I really wanted to point out the areas where this is very, very different and unique in terms of the uh, the floor plan layout. Oops, I got myself uh, clipped in here. There is just... There's literally, literally nothing else like this on the market. This is a unicorn. It's a one of a kind, and we helped make this happen. I'm Josh the RV Nerd, and part of me is inside of this camper, guys. So who is open range? Why would you choose open range first? Well, and along the way, you're gonna see why you would choose Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. First of all, what dealership has gone out of their way to help improve a floor plan to bring this to you instead of just sticking with the status quo? Um, secondly, who else has uh, openly published prices with no hidden BS charges? Anything this RV needs, basically, it's included. Um, these guys have a three-year structural warranty, to give you that extra protection and peace of mind. Um, the uh, the look is absolutely stellar on these. They've got just a very modern space age look to it, with very large, extra wide and extra tall pass-through baggage compartment. Even their baggage doors work a little different. Um, I don't know if they seal better. I know they seal different, but what I do know is that they're thicker and more insulated. Now, like almost everything, you are solar prepped here. These little solar, I call it a solar suitcase that you can kind of flip out. It's a 12 volt trickle charger. We've got those on the shelf every day at Halet RV. Actually, while I'm standing this close, let's point out a couple things. They use aluminum screw trim on the corners of open ranges. It's one of the things we see as hyper unique here at Halet RV. No one else is doing this except open range. Instead of plastic screw trim, which is going to be more inclined to shrink and expand and degrade in weather, this is not going to happen. Now you can see your heavy duty. I mean, heavy duty, this is rugged, thick, solid nose cap, but you still maintain diamond plate down here. Um, that gives you the good look of that nose cap without all of the weight, all of the cost, but you still get the good stone deflection. Some brands that do a nose cap do not offer stone deflection. Now, you've got a push button power awning, push button power tongue jack, um, there's LED lights on the awning, the awning is easy tilt, the awning has LED lighting, the awning has speakers. Um, I, I, it's, this is pretty loaded within its class, guys. Um, I can find you a lower dollar ultralight for sure. I don't know that I can find you a more heavily equipped ultralight. This is very unique and left to center within its class. Um, they do something a little different in their underbelly here. It's not just heated, it's not just enclosed, it's not just insulated, it's circulating forest air heated. Meaning that the, the furnace line that pumps the hot air into the underbelly then circles through and heats the bathroom floor so that your little piggies don't get cold at night. That's just not normal. People don't do that. But cyclical airflow is what is going to help you in that cold camp situation, not encapsulated airflow. They use deepest in-class super slides. This is a 39 inch deep super slide instead of 36 inch. Uh, now, that doesn't sound like an extra whole bunch, but remember that big U-dinette inside here? U-dinettes are 40 inches deep. This basically keeps the dinette in the slide instead of eating into your living space. Plus, they have the little more uh, rugged, insulated, uh, laminated slide walls. If a camper doesn't have a laminated slide wall, it does not mean it's a bad camper. It means that it's different. It means that it could be cutthroat cheap. I like laminated walls because they're consistent. They're built the same way every single time. There are advantages to non-laminated slide walls, guys. It's important you get to know your campers. Now, behind the fireplace, that's what we're looking at right now. You are going to enjoy this huge extra chunk of outdoor storage. So you've already got your big pass-through, but you know, this is like, to me, this is perfect for like your hoses, um, your, your water connectors and stuff like that because it's going to keep it separate from your camping stuff and all of your hookups are right here. This makes sense. And even on the back side of the camper, they could have saved money. They could have not gone with the magnetic latch. They could have not gone with the metallic slam latches. They do the same thing the same way every time. They do it right every single time at open range instead of scaling down to save a little money here and there little water docking station and cable input docking station in the back there and that's an ideal place for it because that's right where usually the power post is in the back driver's side corner of a campsite this is where it belongs all windows heavily tinted that gives you privacy that keeps the rv cooler because it cuts down on 80 percent of the solar radiation and it uh allows for it, it protects your rv from um sun damage you know it'll it'll knock down that uv rays so that you don't get fading furniture for instance now uh 
we've got a bumper mount gra uh, bracket on here and um, that's one of those dead indicators that this one was optioned with an outside grill. Remember, we're all about being clear, concise, transparent, simple and easy to work with at Halet RV. That's an option that may not be included on every one. That's why I leave you folks the link to the Halet RV website in the video description. Um, that will, like I said, it says check for price and availability. That will tell you exactly how the one we have in stock is equipped. You can walk all over the roof. That's not a concern whatsoever. Your aluminum framed, you've got plywood floor decking. It's, it's built fantastically I'm not concerned about that I can get into it further if you'd like but suffice to say this is built like most fifth wheels are built um, and here's another very interesting thing uh, I offered as a suggestion I said you know rear kitchens they have a ton of countertop space but this back corner of countertops it's like you can't actually get to the cabinets why do you guys do that why don't you use that space outside and put a small outside kitchen on here and they said man that is a heck of an idea and then again they took it to the next level they gave you an actual sink with a real faucet and a real drain instead of one that just dribbles on the ground or you have to bucket and flip it to the side. You've got your outside cooktop, burners, standard. We like to add the barbecue grill most of the time so you can have main dish and side dish going at the same time. You've got a nice little pocket up here. Uh, this is perfect for like uh, your, your spice rubs and things. You're just setting your phone down and having a charger right there. And we've got, oh, I love you, Dad's Medicine Cabinet. How you doing, girl? You take care of us, don't you? Um, unsnap this right here. It's got nice little bullet latches on both sides so this stays uh, solid. And did you notice? This is not wooden countertop, so it'll hold up well in the weather conditions. Lock it in place. And again, magnetic doors, slam latches. Everything is simple and easy. And look what's right next to that. Outside TV hookups, all under this big, easy tilt patio awning so that you get out all kinds of like outdoor entertainment options that you can even use on a drizzly day. Now, this is an ultralight. You're probably looking at this for towing purposes. That's why they use an upgraded suspension. Why don't more ultralights use an upgraded suspension? This gives you a smoother ride that helps take some of the herky-jerkiness out of towing. You're not going to feel like you're getting bucked and chucked around your vehicle quite so much here. These guys get it. Again, all these little things I'm talking about, that's why this is not the cheapest ultralight on the market. It is a very smart and intelligently equipped ultralight. Like the fifth wheel aluminum entry steps right here. They are lighter. They don't uh, corrode. Um, lighter both in weight and color so you can see them at night. That's something people don't think about. I was driving through here one night um, just, just from like generic moonlight and whatnot. I could see these steps plain as day. Black metal steps, um, steel steps, you don't quite get that. Bigger entry handle, standard, get you in and out. You've got a friction hinge. Ugh, fling this thing. I smacked that sucker and it's already more than halfway open and it still doesn't hit the side of the trailer. Here's what's neat too about a friction hinge. Not only does it not slam open from wind gusts, but it doesn't need a door hold back. There's, there's not that little plastic piece of thing down there that's going to break for you, that little hold back. That also means that the uh, a door with a hold back has to stick out. Look at that nice sharp corner, just waiting to catch a little grandkid in the cheek or something down there. Now we don't have to worry about that, guys. Let me... Uh, close this behind me we'll go back to our interior tour so you already understand the differences and what makes this rear kitchen the most unique and i feel best laid out rear kitchen in the travel trailer market so let's look at some of the open range details and why we like them here at halet rv every rv at halet rv has a unique purpose a unique goal there's a reason that we carry it People, like, there is no one best RV, guys. They're all good at different things. And that's why we carry them, because there's different unique qualities here not found in other places. This does have that nice vaulted barreled ceiling. That is found in some other RVs, but it does add some extra headroom. Um, the, the skylight here, though, that's another one of those extra dollar things that you don't see from a lot of brands. The fact that we have one, two rows of lighting. Lights and windows are expensive, guys. They went all out on windows, they went all out on lights. They actually have a double ducted air system too. You can see how there's two air runs that go down this. Uh, remember, we've got the deepest slide in the industry. In the ultralight business, there's no one else that makes a slide this deep. That extra space keeps that dinette in there. It keeps the entertainment center in there. It gives you more storage. All these are good things. And by the way, did you notice? Industry exclusive. Open range RVs that you find here at Halitz have a carpetless floor flush slide. These are 100% carpetless with no big four inch or three inch toe kick walking into it. Zero, zero other brands do that. 100% unique factor. 
Um, something else they do that I do enjoy. It's it's all the smart details they put in the open ranges that I like at Halo Derby. The sealed waterproof countertops. This is a nice lightweight alternative to a solid surface that is both less money and lighter weight and still accomplishes all the same goals of looking great and being waterproof so that you can recess that double stainless sink. By the way, it's not just your countertop in the kitchen, but all countertops have that same sealed edge membrane going on, whether it's in the living room, the kitchen, the bathroom, uh, anywhere, anywhere. So stainless appliance bundle. With the, the driftwood sort of wood tones, this is very modern. This is right on the edge, that modern bleeding edge of the razor of residential interior decors. This is what a lot of houses are looking like right now, brand new. Open Range is always on the forefront of that, which is funny because this is actually how Open Range RVs have looked like for years. Um, they just, they've always been able to stay ahead of the curve on that kind of stuff. 33% bigger stainless steel uh, gas and electric fridge, so traveler friendly fridge. And this is something they do in every single open range ultralight floor plan. Again, these are the differences I see in the open range ultralight versus a lot of other brands. The big pot and pan drawer below the oven. They do this on every open range ultralight floor plan. These are not things commonly found in other brands. The, the, uh, the big window here with that level change so it doesn't just look so flat and boring. I love what they've done. But you know what you're not seeing is hinges. You don't see hinges. All of the cabinetry has a nice, smooth, clean look. You've got your residential shaker style cabinet doors. You've got fifth wheel, luxury fifth wheel type hidden hinges in here. We've got pocket screwed cabinetry, not stapled, but screwed together. All of these little things are extra little dollars, guys, but they're also things that are, you're going to enjoy using and will help your RV hold together longer term. They didn't waste any space on this island. You've got your huge, full extension, big, easy access drawers here. Notice that they're all plywood constructed. These are not particle board with sticker wraps. Again, even where you're not looking, they didn't cut corners. Remember that extra baggage door on the back side I talked about? They don't cut corners on these things. So uh, I, I mentioned briefly, you've got your wall hugging uh, type theater recliner here. You've got that same big window as a rear living room. You've got your same uh, dual recliners, but now you're actually getting an enjoyable entertainment experience. And if your feet get a little chilly in the spring or the fall, kick on your electric space heating fireplace down here. And uh, you don't have to burn up your propane to enjoy some extra heat. This, this gives you a lot of those luxury features in a very lightweight trailer. And you know, you know what? I've talked about the weight of this a few times, and I forgot to mention it sooner because I was so excited. $59.90. Not even 6,000 pounds brings this thing home. And that's one of the things I thought was so cool about this reimagine and redesign that we helped them put together, guys, is not only does it have better entertainment, not only does it have better seating, not only does it have the outside kitchen and more storage, but it does so at a shorter length and less weight. I, there's just... There's no downside to this thing. There's none. It just, it only does everything, guys. Um, I talked about this when we were inside earlier. I'm going to keep on moving on. Detail stuff. The bathroom door has this nice little door stop so that your handle doesn't punch into a wall panel or something. Every little detail, like I said, fifth wheel luxury stuff and, and attention to details applied here. Here's another fun thing about this floor plan. You're going down the road. The slide is closed. We can pop right in the bathroom. No problem. No problem. You know, you can get into the bedroom and you can put your head down for a night if you're kind of, you know, taking a, a little rest or whatnot. Every room, bathroom, bedroom, living room has that one flick of the switch lighting convenience. We've got a dual entry bathroom here. You can get to it from the entry area where I'm at or from the bedroom at night for privacy. Very nice, by the way, if you're sleeping a couple grandkids on that uh, dinette and you can easily sleep too there. <coughs> Pardon me. So, sliding pocket privacy door in here. We've got both power vent exhaust fan and a skylight. And because that vaulted roof plus the skylight, this is a very tall person friendly shower. And notice it's that larger, big fifth wheel radius shower. So you actually have elbow room in here. You've also got lots of leg room. When you sit down on the toilet or when you get out of the shower, you have room to do your business, whether it's get dressed, stretch your legs out, whatever you need to do. This is not a small sink. This is a big counter. Case in point, adults, you can actually really get your hands in here. It is deceptively deep, this big radius. And even this 
is stainless, guys. They didn't cut down. They stayed top shelf, and you've still got the waterproof countertops, and now you actually have room to set your toothbrushes and stuff, and you are still getting a vanity, not just a mirror. But the fun doesn't stop there. Instead of the, um, the pretense and the impression of a functional linen cabinet, they've actually given you a real good deep functional linen cabinet where you can actually fold towels normally and get them in there and not have to do some weird towel Tetris to get stuff in there. This is a fantastically executed bedroom. Bathroom. I'm moving to the bedroom. Crap. So again, every room you walk into, you got a light switch that just, you know, takes care of all the heavy lifting for you. Um, they've done something cool with their bed here. This is a convertible queen. It is either the shorter camper queen, which is what you see now, or you put that little six inch spacer block up in the headboard, which goes under your pillow, which you're never going to feel, by the way. So you're not going to feel a seam in there. And that will give you an 80 inch queen. This floor plan can be a long or short bed. Whatever you want, it becomes. And if you do go with the long bed, you still have plenty of walk around space in here. Both sides of the bed have stands with extra drawers. You see those outlets up there. This side of the bed also benefits from USB plugs. The other side is residential only. Little um, laundry chute so that you can keep a laundry basket in there. Nice big um, hanging cabinets on both sides of the bed here. And you're actually getting overhead cabinets, not just an overhead shelf. And notice, again, they didn't scale down. A lot of brands will give you nicer hardware in the living room but then in the bedroom and the bathroom, they'll scale down to like normal hinge cabinets. They still stuck with hidden hinges. They stuck with everything here. You still have a nice um, air vent up here. Notice we still have two AC runs. This actually has a looping cyclical airflow system, just like you have a looping cyclical heating system. You want to throw a flat screen in here. It goes right up there. TV hookups are on uh, the, uh, the roof area. And um, over here, we've got our King Jack antenna system. You see these usually on luxury fifth wheels? We've been selling this aftermarket for years. In English, you don't have to crank this antenna up and down. It has longer range and more clarity. That means more channels with less hassle. Not all bad. I mean, well, frankly, it's all good. So we've touched on a lot of very fun, unique, different qualities. If you guys are, are looking for an awesome couples camping experience but you're so bored to death with the generic rear living room where the tv is a football field away then you call halid rv we help put something together you're going to enjoy we are personally invested in this thing we've been helping nurture this one for a year to make this happen you give us a call we're going to put this deal together this is our baby and you are our customer and i don't care where you live we are going to take care of you. We're going to put together a fair deal that you can't refuse. And we appreciate the opportunity to earn your business. You are not too far away to work with Halet RV. Always remember that. So take care. Stay safe. Have fun. Happy camping, everyone. And links in the video description for pricing and availability. Thank you.